Now to that arson investigation in Manatee County. Investigators said a burglar was determined to break into a downtown Palmetto business, but before he took off, the suspect set off a massive blaze in a storage facility. John Rogers joins us in Manatee County with the search for the firebug. Good evening. Investigators have a few leads and a key clue was left behind here. But take a look at the scene now. This building is now a charred shell and it used to be a historic church. A News Channel 8 viewer captured this video showing the dark, thick plume towering into the sky. A massive blaze chewed through a storage facility behind Auto Dealer Solutions on 8th Avenue West. It was a big deal. It was a heavy fire load. From above, you can see the fire tore the building apart, leaving nothing behind. We had a ton of, like, petroleum-based product inside, tires, a lot of carpet, rolled-up rugs and such. So uh, it was defensive right off the bat. Once the smoke cleared, investigators combed through the remains, and they believe somebody in intentionally set this fire. Take a look at this image from surveillance video. Officials say just before the blaze, this burglar broke into multiple buildings on the property. And then they threw a hammer through the back door of the main building and then got inside the building and then the alarm went off. The crook even left some blood behind at the scene. Once the alarm went off, it looks like they ransacked a couple things real quick, tried to look for something, and then ran away because the alarm was going off. Unfortunately, the burglar set this fire before taking off. The storage facility was once a historic church that's been here for nearly a century. Now the building will likely be a total loss. The damage is certainly a setback for this dealership, but the business owner will not be discouraged. Nobody was injured. Um, it's only things. Things can be replaced. People can't, so we're fortunate that nothing was bad, badly damaged. The business owner claims he has no disgruntled former employees or former customers, so he doesn't know why someone would do this. The state fire marshal's office and the Palmetto Police are investigating, so if you have any information on this case, call Palmetto Police. In Palmetto, John Rogers, News Channel 8.